Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And we are now going into 2023. And in this tournament that we were continuing, it's called the Rising Dragon Tournament. Now, let me go ahead and show you what it is so far. The last one was about the total number that we had to catch at Dragon Mountains. This time we're going to Great Chinese Garden, and the emphasis here is going to be the total weight of the fish caught. So now instead of little fish, we need to focus on the biggest ones. Primarily common carp and big head carp, basically any of the carp species for the most part. But the common carp are the biggest, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on because I am in, even though in first place, I'm tied with three other people. Everybody else is following us. So, it looks like there's three people tied for second place, at least. But we're going to see what happens here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you here real quick my setup, because I'm going to try to change this as little as possible. We only have 30 minutes, so I want to kind of stick with the gear that I have for the most part. Now, I'm going to be using a balanced lure, and I'm using this, the Morning Flash. It's a little expensive, but it is very good for common carp. So, it's good for other species of carp as well, the Crucian, the Koi. There are other ones here that are good for that. If you want to take, uh, I believe it's the Carrot Parade, no, Babylonian Empire. That's also good for common carp, or best for common carp, if you want to switch that up. I don't know that I'm going to be switching things up too much. I don't think I have one that's more focused in the spinners towards common carp. But as far as other equipment, I've got my heavy tungsten drill. I've got my heavy golden phoenix rod because we are going to be getting some big fish here. I'm going to try to use the glitter. I don't have but 21 of them, unfortunately, but I'm out of cash. So. But they are best for common carp, yet again, and sturgeon, by the way. Chinese perch, also. And there is a specific hook that I'm using. It's the Neon Predator. Again, best for common carp. So, everything seems to be focused on common carp for the most part. It still doesn't mean you won't get other fish. It's just that it seems to make it lean more towards the common carp the way I've got it set up here. So... We have 30 minutes to do this. We can't waste a lot of time. We need to focus on getting these big fish. So let's go ahead and jump in here. All right, we are here. Been a while since I've been here, so I don't really have any spots per se that exceed any others. trying to decide if I should go over here I think I did pretty well here last time in this little spot now this lake even though it's small goes up to 144 feet so I'm gonna try here and then I think I'm gonna go over to this little lake over here and then maybe back to the big one but I think there's a lot of koi here not 100% certain about that. As well as common carp, which I am fine with getting koi. They're big too. They come quite sizable in this game. I can't really remember if they're true to life with their common carp species, but common carp should be moving into the shallows in the morning and daytime hours. They usually go to the deep deep areas in the middle of the day. And we got us a bluegill. That's not really going to work. And we can't waste a lot of time on small fish. 
Yeah. Not enough quick activity. You need to get. I mean, we got very little time here to waste. So if we're not getting anything, we're going on. Doesn't look like anybody else is doing any better than I am here. Let's see. How do I get to this? Okay, up here. Yeah, I think this is where the big fellas really are to be found anyway. I am going to... Wait a minute. Let me take a look at the big map here. Yeah, I'm going to go over here. Should be in a deep zone there. What's with all the bunny rabbits? Lots of white bunnies. Yeah, this is like 130 feet. Really deep for such a small leg. Come on, I need a big one. Something to make me feel like I've got this somewhat under control. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the rod bend, guys. Okay, this is a big fella. Really big fella. It is a koi. It is a koi. 20, what was it, 26 pounds? Yeah. It's a nice koi, I tell you. Actually, it might be the biggest koi I've caught out of here, to be honest. I'm good with that. Yeah, I think I do remember catching a lot of koi up this little part of the the lake. Okay, this is not big. Could be just damn near anything. And it's a bluegill. <laughs> Great. He is going to contribute much. All right, let's see if we can entice something here. A little of our glitter bait. Did I change that over to the glitter bait? Oh, no, I did not. That could be that could be a, that could be problematic, there, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what I had, but maybe it was koi attractant. I'll have to take a look at it afterwards because I am kind of curious what I was attracting there. That you can't preset the attractant. That's the only thing. All the other stuff you can preset. The hook and the, the lure. There we go. Okay. Not as big as the last fish, but I'm pretty certain this is not a bluegill. Could be a small koi or carp. Or a really large bluegill. Damn. <laughs> Actually, he's fairly impressive, honestly. Huh. That is, that is weird. Yeah, I don't remember. I was on the leaderboard with a bluegill. I was trying to catch barracuda, and I ended up catching like a four-pound bluegill. Put me on, like, fourth place on the leaderboard for uh, quite a while. That's the only thing I've gotten on the leaderboard, and it was a bluegill. <laughs> Nothing else. I don't think we got us a bluegill, but something 
Hopefully a little bit bigger. No, damn. He's a monster bluegill in here. Check out that bluegill, man. Lord. I bet I bet I'm on a, some kind of leaderboard right now. I'll have to check after we're done here, guys, because I'm, I'm almost certain that is a decent, decent sized bluegill. He's almost three pounds. Not trying to catch <laughs> big bluegill, though, that's the thing. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to keep this, this spot in mind, though, because I'm gonna have to come here. There we go. Now we're talking. We got something big. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here at a later time. Maybe do a video and see if I can't break my record for the biggest bluegill. I love to break records, especially my own. I don't see me breaking the records that are global. I mean, these people, some of them, have held them for quite a while. Let's see how big this fish is. We got us another. Holy crikeys! That was unexpected. Jeez, 28.77 pound sturgeon. What? What? Yeah. Okay. A 28.77 pound sturgeon. That was... Needless to say, I said earlier, usually there are sturgeon here, but you usually don't catch them. Well, I guess I just... Lied. <laughs> I don't know. That actually might be my best sturgeon, too. And I just caught it here in front of you guys. I will have to see if I can't figure that out. See if we did exceed our personal best. Now, in reality, the sturgeon would be the biggest fish that you could pull out of this entire game. It is not. The common carp in this game are the biggest fish that you can pull out of it. Which really seems strange. You would think barracuda and sturgeon would far exceed that. But apparently not so much. But then you don't expect to see barracuda in a frozen wasteland. Okay, we're going to probably move on. So I don't think we're going to get anything out of this hole. We got plenty. We did really well. That was a really good, really good hole, actually. But I think I'm going to head down to the big one. That's what it looks like the other guys are doing, too. Got a bunny rabbit that's spinning in circles. Let's see here. Trying to figure out the best way to get down there. And I don't think you can walk off the edge. Alright. Follow the lamps. Follow the lamps. Yeah, I don't think you... Nope. Have to find a spot with some stairs. Okay, here we go. All right, here. That's interesting. I'm going to go dead center here, guys. I'm going to go right in the deepest point. Dead center. 144 feet. Cannot believe that sturgeon. Honest to God, I cannot believe that sturgeon. That was amazing. He didn't fight as hard as that koi did, and the koi wasn't as big as he is. 
Now in other games, the sturgeon, they're, they're damn good fighters. I mean, they don't fight like a largemouth bass, but they do fight. Pretty darn good. There we go. Uh, this could be a very large bluegill again. I didn't even think bluegill could be found in Asian countries. And if they are... Oh, it's a flounder. Okay, that... It's kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> If they are, they're probably not supposed to be there. Yeah, for the... I think it's the bream in Europe to kind of take the place of... Or the sunfish, you know, their, their niche or whatever. Damn, that's two flounder. Maybe I'm going too deep. I don't know. I have nothing against flounder. Yeah, I have nothing against flounder. They're good eating, but the thing is... We need to get something much bigger than that. Not so sure that's going to happen. We still have 15 minutes to go. Yeah, it seems like we're pulling in a lot of flounder here. Yeah, I'm going to move over closer to the edges here. Let me think here. Let's try right next to the island here, or whatever this thing is. It's still very deep. This thing would have to be on a pillar. get this started. Hopefully. Ah, shoot. Flounder. Let's do this, guys. We're going to lift this off the bottom a little bit. And technically speaking, carp are on the bottom too, but this is a this is what we're talking talking about like serious bottom fish. I mean, <laughs> like up against and laying on the bottom and burying yourself bottom. Come on, I need a there we go. That's what I needed. So I needed to come off the bottom just a little bit. Yeah, now we're getting something here. Yeah, I don't know how the other guys are doing, but... If this is successfully pulled in, I think this is going to get me in the running for sure. How big is this fish? It is a common carp at 27 pounds. 73. So not bad. Not bad at all. Not my best. Nothing to sneeze at. So I think that puts us around 80 pounds of fish maybe. Maybe a little more. All right, now we're talking. Okay, I think we found the honey hole here, guys. I think we found the spot. Ooh, this one might. This one's definitely our biggest. Cause I'm really 
struggling to keep this guy in the green and he's not coming very fast let's see how big this fella is wow really 38.98 pounds 38.98 pounds guys Decent fish. Decent fish. Next to the island. I'm going to have to remember that. Because there's some other missions that I want to do on it that involves these lakes. And I really still do want to beat. Not only my personal record, but I'd love to get on a leaderboard with a common carp. And I think it's been here or the den where they've been caught. And there's another big one. Yeah, this one's not as big, but he's not a slouch either. 13.77 pounds. Whoa. Alright. Yeah, I think we might have this, guys. Unless somebody is just pulling one right after another somewhere else. We did lose a little time in the beginning. Okay, this is probably... This is probably a flounder. Flounder or... Nah, I'd say a flounder. I was going to say bluegill, but I doubt it's a bluegill. No, it's a pike. Oh, isn't he cute? <laughs> he's a little bitty pike. Look how tiny he is. He's like bait to them. He's supposed to be the predator. <laughs> little bitty pike. Well, as I've always said, every hole in this game has a pike. Well, there's our pike. I honestly didn't know there were pike in this particular fishery here. Okay. Oh, tiny little carp. Little fella. love to get a record breaker. That's what I want. Get a huge fish. Ooh. And I might have just gotten my wish. Jeez. Might have just gotten my wish here, guys. Holy crap, this is a big fish. Yowzers, I thought that other one was big, the 38 pounder. Oh, wow. The longer it takes to get him through that hole, the bigger he's going to be. So when it takes a real long pause, yep, not as big, but still close. 29.28. We're getting a nice pile of carp here. Nice pile of carp. Now we're down to about six and a half minutes. I feel really good about this. Whoa, there we go. Really not worried about whether or not I'm in first place, but... Definitely found our spot here for catching common carp. <coughs> and 
how big we got this one here. 29.26. Jeez. Yeah, I'm not thinking that I need to do much <laughs> more. Just keep at this and go over to the waiting area when we have about a minute left because we don't really have far to go. But I'm going to give it a minute. Jesus. This is crazy. I've really not caught this many this quick in any spot so far that I've been playing this game. I have literally found one of the best spots I've ever had right here. 11 pounds. All of them have been sizable fish. Yeah, just just a little bit up off the bottom. If you go to the bottom, you're going to be picking up flounder. Even though flounder are nice, they're not going to win tournaments. Unless you're going for a flounder tournament. Then you might have, you know. I don't really know how big they come. I'll have to look that up because I'm pretty sure they don't go over 10 pounds in this game. Now, if this was halibut, <laughs> now, I don't really have time to move, but I can do this. I might raise this up a little bit and change the lure. I do have enough time to do that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to switch it with Babylonian Empire fish for just a minute or so and see if anything's interested and then we'll go on to the starting point. Because <coughs> we have just about enough time to pull up one more big fish and we'd have to go anyway. So, well there we go, we got something to bite. It's not big though. It's not big at all. But it is a carp. 1.78 pound carp. Yeah, I think it's time to pull stakes and head over to the starting area. Which. I believe is right here. Well. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to wait a minute because nobody else is coming yet. I'll be back once things get settled down. Alright guys, we are at the last of this. Got still a few stragglers that haven't come in yet, but they're slowly making their way back. They better get back sooner. They're gonna, that one's going to get disqualified. Yep. Suits me, and I definitely can't. Holy crap. Look. 217.29 pounds 19 fish now he did catch more fish but the second place person but yeah he didn't even touch me on the weight <coughs> but see if this had been a total number he'd have beaten me he'd have beaten me by one but yeah he only made up to 46.62 pounds that's the next closest I caught the biggest fish the most weight so that definitely has made things better for me in the next mission, but that's where it's going to get tough again. Total number of fish caught determines the number. That's in the Dragon Mountains. And Dragon Mountains is tricky. It's very, very tricky. I need to make sure I find an area that there's a lot of small fish. A lot of small fish is what I need to focus on. Or at least a lot of biting fish. Doesn't matter what the size is. 
but right now I am in the lead by 10 points. So I can flub up in the next one. I'm th not sure what the next one is, but I think it's like the, the best total weight for the top three fish or something like that. I could be wrong, but I think it is a weight a weight competition. I hope it is. All right, well, we're going to go back. And I'm going to actually go in here and check a few things because I do want to see what my personal best was with the bluegill. And I want to see what the record for the common carp is. Hold on, I will be back. All right, guys, I did go and check the bluegill records. And the record size has been 4.34 pounds. But if I go to myself, I'm actually still in the leaderboard. Actually still there. It was 4.06 pounds, so it was a 4-pounder. Still in 65th place. Now, back then I was like in 4th, but I'm sure that didn't last long. But I caught it at the Polar Storm. If you look at this, though, the Great Chinese Garden, it, it's, it's there. But Polar Storm is seems to be the spot. That and the Great Chinese Garden, if you want to catch big bluegill. Now, as far as the common carp goes, nobody has topped this fellow. Uh, I don't know what his name is. He and Zardoz both have the same size. Actually, four of them tied, really. I don't know how they came up with those ra you know rankings, but maybe it goes a little bit further than that. But whoever this is got a 105.77 pound fish. That is the biggest fish ever caught in this game. And for me, um... <laughs> 87.59 pounds. That was my record. My personal best. That's what I've got to beat. Because I'm not going to beat the other guy. But 2,183rd place. <laughs> not real good. Not real good, honestly. Now for Sturgeon, my record was... Well, I did break the record. That was my record now. 28.77 pounds. So that's a, that's, a, that's a bonus. I got... I was able to beat my old record. Now, what's the global? 87.70 pounds. So that's, I think that's the second biggest fish. The Barracuda being third, which is really kind of strange if you think about it. Yeah, that the global for that is 77.44. The biggest one of those I ever caught was at 66.93. 5,393rd place. <laughs> Not real good, eh. But I'm pretty happy with the bluegill one. I, I would love to be able to beat the full all-time record for that, at least. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back in another episode. So hopefully, well, it'll be the next part of it. And we have to go after total numbers, so that's going to be tough. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.